Hi guys, this is Nart Chronicles and I'm back with another reading and this is for anyone who's dealing with a narcissist or has dealt with a narcissist in the past and is healing from a narcissist. So I'm just cleansing the energy with some white sage and the cards. Her disappointed. I'm hearing documents or documentation. I always hear a lot of D words when I'm doing this reading. Destruction. So someone's causing some sort of destruction in your life. Maybe they have some documents on you or something like that. Hearing criteria, this could be in the work environment. Computers, computer field. You might work in the IT, you know, industry. Hearing co-workers. You might have some narcissistic co-workers, that's what I'm hearing here. You have some sort of documents on you. Hearing above you. So this could be bosses or, you know, supervisors, I'm hearing that too. They want to destroy you, I just heard. Because you're a rebel, you might be standing up for yourself in some something at work, some sort of dispute on the hearing. Work dispute. I'm hearing stolen money. So maybe some money's gone missing and someone has some sort of documents and they're blaming you. I'm hearing wrongly accused. It wasn't you, but the blame's being placed on you. I'm hearing changing numbers, exchanging numbers too. So maybe some co-workers are, you know, communicating on the phone about you, about some numbers, digits I'm hearing that have been messed with. Maybe some money's been stolen. Employees have been stealing money and, you know, playing with numbers at work. I'm hearing that too. But you're standing up for yourself. I'm hearing suspended. So you might be suspended from work because some sort of investigation's going on. That's what I'm hearing. But it's not you. You've been wrongly accused. I see a lot of sadness here. I feel like you're quite angry because it's not you. I'm hearing primal. You've been connecting with your ancestors for answers. That's what I'm picking up here. And they're trying to help you. I see them surrounding you. But I also see a lot of dark energies around you too. Who are placing the blame on you. But I do feel like you are protected from them. Your mind's protected. Because I feel like, you know, you're under some sort of spiritual attack or... Maybe it's just that you're overthinking and going over, you know, what these people have been doing to you. You cannot get it off your mind. So you could feel quite stressed right now. But I see a lot of, you know, sacred shells above your head. So you're definitely being protected from these people. So, you know, try not to worry. That's what I'm hearing as much as you do. I also see that you're someone who's found crystals and you're starting to, you know, use these crystals to heal your emotions from whatever's happened as well. I feel like you're protecting your chakras with crystals or you're meditating with crystals. I'm hearing crystal therapy. So you might be in therapy right now because of these people causing stress, conflict, and problems in your life. I feel like you're someone who has long hair. You're quite attractive, like physically. Your body is nice, that's what I'm hearing. And you're someone, you know, who's quite sacred. 
you following your instinct right now and you're listening to your guides i'm hearing that too as to what to do about these people these people want to take you off your high horse i'm hearing they want to bring you down they want to put the blame onto you that's what i'm picking up but i feel like you might have some proof against them or they have some proof against you Maybe these people encourage you to take part in something they was doing here, but you had high standards, so I feel like you refused their offer, and that's why they put the blame onto you. I'm hearing drugs, I feel like they, they said you was on drugs, or, you know, something was wrong with you, and that's why, you know, people are looking at you even more here. You're someone, you started to meditate, connect with your ancestors and find, you know, peace within yourself. You're starting to, you know, work on you again because you feel quite embarrassed, quite, you know. People are being misled here, that's what I'm picking up. But you started to uplift your own vibration. So you're going to start attracting you know, your highest good. So, you know, try not to worry as much. This is in your your angel's hands. This is in God's hands I'm hearing too. You might also have, you know, an emerald crystal. I'm hearing that as well. But you're definitely, you know, placing crystals in your hair, I'm hearing. You might be someone who covers their hair and, you know, You've got crystals like in your hair as well, or some sort of head piece. Yeah, so you're hoping for the best and you're wishing, you're praying for the best here. You might be, you know, using candles. I'm hearing candle therapy. You know, you're trying to help yourself to get over this anxiety because. You're in a constant state of like anticipation. That's what I'm seeing here. You're someone who's very intelligent in your field and you have a lot of bright future prospects coming in the future for you. But people are trying to tarnish your name. That's what I'm getting here. So this might affect you in the future because of them. That's what I'm seeing here too. Yeah, at the moment, you kind of just gone within yourself. You're quite isolated. You're keeping yourself away from people. You're just listening to your intuition. You're just trying to, you know, to block people out. That's what I'm seeing here. Because no one believes you. People believe them. That's what I'm hearing here too. Yeah, I feel like a lot of, you know, underground shit is going on here. This could be spell work again. I keep getting this in readings. Someone could be playing with the energies. This could be energy vampires at work who, you know, do sneaky shit and, you know, put blame on here and put curses on you. These are haters, people who are quite jealous of your light and of your abilities, of your qualifications, this could be as well. These people play with dark work, I'm hearing dark art, I'm hearing magic to try and manipulate this case to go in their favour and not yours. I feel like you've got a lot of information on these people too, but you know, somehow they've manipulated the energy to look like it's you. So you might be standing up on your own right now with no one but you, God, your angels and your ancestors. Yeah, because I've got ancient here. So you definitely come from a very high bloodline. I'm hearing a royal bloodline, but they don't know that. And they're trying to manipulate you, but you've started to, you know, unlock your ancestors. You started to dig deep and you started to research. 
you know who you are so you might have got some downloads that's what I'm seeing here I'm hearing downloads in your dreams about you know your past life information this could be like a generational curse that has you know come into this lifetime but I do see that you know you're connecting with Anubis he could be your guide I'm also seeing two and car moon here and I just heard Nefertiti so you definitely got very high vibrational ancestors in your energy field and I'm drawn to the octopus so I feel like you have a lot of options here you have a lot of gifts you also have an octopus spirit animal totem in your energy field it's trying to show you different ways to navigate through this whole situation you might also keep seeing dragonflies i'm seeing that as well these are signs of luck symbols of luck but you're surrounded by snakes crocodiles people who want to take you out of your power that's what i'm picking up here you might feel sick you might you know be getting physical ailments right now like you know you could have skin rashes here's skin disease because of this shit you've been through people are trying to say you're the devil when you're not you know what i mean you're some you're royalty your bloodline is royalty and you're receiving these these downloads that's what i'm hearing could come from you know people who play music I'm seeing you have a lot of intelligent ancestors here jealousy that's what I said people are jealous you have haters for a reason and it's because you know you're very intelligent you're very clever you're brilliant at your job and you you know you're someone who does the right thing these energy vampires are trying to take you out because of that because you didn't fall for you know what they're doing they tried to make you fall from grace here but you're ancient your bloodline's royal they can't you know fuck with your destiny so they're trying to punish you in other ways that's what i'm getting here they're, they're envious so they're trying to change your you know your destiny they're trying to rewrite your destiny so that you fail but you're not crazy you know this energy you know it's not yours you know it's theirs so you might be returning to sender i'm hearing here you might be sending their energy back to them or calling your energy back but that's something you know that you could do to help yourself that's what i'm hearing here too so you might you know you might start giving yourself the self-love and you might start to see your worth or work on doing that because this could help you as well to uplift you that's what i'm hearing here too at the same time you don't feel like you know socializing you don't feel like enjoying yourself or having fun or dancing or singing anymore because these people have made you feel quite sad and miserable that's what i'm getting here you might you know start taking walks in nature start you know you could buy some plants and surround yourself with flowers and try and uplift you know your vibe Feel like people don't want to help you or you know they don't want to show you how to help yourself they're quite happy for you to fall from grace because you're so intelligent because they're jealous and envious of you they want to bring you down but you're a fighter so you need to get back up that's what i'm hearing
an outsider in reverse. They want to push you out. They want you to be alone so that you break. That's what I'm hearing. But at the same time, I feel like this situation has broke you. And it's time to, you know, pick yourself back up. Because you don't deserve this. Like I said, you come from a very high vibration of bloodline and you have natural beauty because I did hear Nefertiti. So you are blessed by, you know, a high, higher beings, higher vibrational beings. And you know, you're just naturally authentic, you're real, you're pure. But I feel like this could be affecting your family too because, you know, they're not sure what to think. They're not sure, you know, how to help you or maybe they've just left you to it on your own. So a lot of manipulating of energies is happening here because I feel like you were someone who was highly honoured, someone who was well loved by their family and friends. But now they've kind of pushed you out too because they're not sure what to think. Yeah, you're someone who has a positive energy. You're someone, you know, you shine. And you know, you can adjust to any situation. And I've got an energy of Jesus on the cross when he's wrongfully blamed and set up by his own friend, Judas. I've got that kind of energy. So that could be the case. You could have had a work friend, colleague who, you know, sold you out like Judas did to Jesus for money. That's what I'm getting here. You know, you're someone who has a high influence on people, a high impact on their life. And, you know, people are putting their energy onto you and it does not belong to you. So it's time to, you know, it's time to get rid of this anxiety. It's time to work on your inner self. It's time to lift yourself back up from what they, you know, the pit that they put you in, from the cross that they, they, they tied you to. That's what I'm hearing. It's time to, you know, rebirth yourself and fight like the warrior within that you have inside of yourself because like I said you come from high vibrational beings these beings are guiding you out of this mess because this is not yours and you deserve to improve your life Whatever struggles you're going through, you can overcome them. Whatever personal challenges are in your face right now, you have abilities inside yourself to fight them off and to, to, to win. That's what I'm getting here. And this is your message. So I hope this helps you. And if you'd like a personal reading, please check the description box below. Okay, so bye guys.